Imagine the landing page as sleek and powerful as the Porsche e-bike itself, designed to captivate and convert. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to recreate that level of design excellence using Pagefly. You'll learn how to build the page step-by-step -step from scratch, ensure it's responsive across devices, preview and publish it seamlessly, adjust and theme editor, and explore time-saving templates to streamline the process. Let's start learning how to build the landing page from scratch. In the Pagefly dashboard, click on the button Create Blank Page. We should choose Regular Page for Landing Page. And then I choose Gen2 Editor to create the page. Let's start with the Hero Banner. This is the first thing your visitors see, so it needs to leave a lasting impression. I will add a Flex section to the Editor page you need to click on the Flex section, then go to the Background Image setting in the Styling tab. Select Image from the Library. Currently, the image background size is set as default. You need to set some background setting. In Styling tab, choose More Setting, choose Background Position as Center, and choose Background Size as Cover. I will adjust some padding too. Next, we need to add a heading, Click on Element, choose Heading, then drag and drop the element to the Editor page. Let's edit the text. Then we can change the font for the heading in the Typography setting. We can choose some default font family here. Add more font or upload your font here. To upload, you can quickly select Go to Uploaded Fonts, click Upload Font, then choose your font you have. It is Accepts File Formats. TFF, WLFFWA FEF2, and OTF. I will choose the font Porsche next that I uploaded before to fit with the page Porsche e-bike I'm making. Change font size, adjust line height, and content color. I will add the button element here. Click then, we can change the button text, content color, font font size, and background color. Don't forget to set the mouse over state styling. Then adjust the margin of the heading to enhance the section's appearance. For the text section, we can easy make it by the way, add the new flex section, add a paragraph here. Duplicate the paragraph, then copy edit the content that you want. Change font family and paste its styling to the other. To add video section, you need add the HTML video element here. Choose reselect, then click add videos to choose video from your device. You also can add directly YouTube video with the YouTube video element, and then insert the YouTube video URL here. To create the image section, we add the flex layout with two blocks. After that, click on each image, then choose Add Images to choose the image that you want. Remember to click Done to save the image. Next, I will add border for the images. Make same with the other. The next section quite same with section before. I will add heading, paragraph, and a button with icon. We will edit the text, then change the button icon in general setting, change, choose the icon. I will change the text, color content, and color background of the normal state. To make the button more attractive, we can change the background color when mouse over. Next, I will add the URL link to the button. It is same as I mentioned before, to make the section align center, we click on Flex Section in the Styling tab, find Layout Setting, and then choose Align Center in Align Item. With the next video section, I will use the HTML video element and replace the other video. With the section below, we add the two blocks layout. After that, add image element in the first block and then add heading paragraph and button in the second block. We will edit the text and button.
copy the style of the heading and paragraph above. Let's make the button more prominent. Set vertical gap for the second block to make the more space, and then we add the horizontal gap between two block. Select the image, We can change the position of two block by heading to direction and click on this icon. Remember to change the URL in the CTA button to the URL that you want. With the other same type section, we will duplicate this section. After that, change the image and text for it. For this text section, we can duplicate the section we create before, move down here and change the content on your own and the URL of CTA button also. With this section, we will add new layout, change the background image, adjust more setting, and add some padding. After that, I will add a button, then edit the button. To build this section, I added the new layout, set background for the element, add paragraph and icon. Edit the paragraph text and change icon. Screw paragraph and icon, then add horizontal gap. Add URL to the URL following reference page. Edit to move the position of the text and icon to the top of block. Freely change the style of the text and icon. Duplicate the block and replace image, text, and URL for two other blocks. Set the border radius as 15. And here we are! Add the product list element and choose the product list you want to show. Duplicate the section created before and replace the background image. Let's do a quick demo for the next section. This section can be easily made by following the guide before. With this FAQ section, we will use the accordion element, add the accordion element, add two heading answers to frequently asked questions, and general. Then edit the question and answer. Add the paragraph in accordion content the caption about the badge section, we can use the content list element. I will move the paragraph below then edit the button and text. Let's make sure our page looks perfect on all devices by checking its responsiveness. I will adjust some section on mobile view to make it more responsive. Preview and Publish Landing Page. Let's save and check the preview pages. By default, the background and text color will be the same as the theme setting. For example, you can see my theme here. If you want to set it the same as the sample page, we need to set the background and text color for each section. Once satisfied, we'll hit Publishes to make it live.
help your customer can easier to find the page on your homepage, we should add the landing page in the navigation menu. From the Shopify Admin, go to Sales Channels, choose Online Stores, click on Navigation, Menus, and select the menu you want to add a link to for your Page to Fly page. We've used Main Menu as an example. On the Main Menu, click on Add Menu Item. You need to enter a name for the page, like Landing Page. Then search for your PageFly page by typing or pasting its URL in the search field. After you finish, click Add to add the page to the menu and click Save Menu to save your work. After that, we can check the live view and test the navigation also. You can check to hide or show element from your Shopify theme in the theme editor. If you're short on time, explore PageFly's templates. Let's customize one to see how it works. Today, we built a landing page from scratch, ensured responsiveness, previewed and published it, and explored template. You're now equipped to create a stunning landing page for your store. Start building your dream landing page today with PageFly now. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll create a captivating collection page. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube channel to get more new videos. Thanks for watching.